Good afternoon, and I would invite you to stand, please, as we greet Bishop McKeown, Mel, Francisco Lawless, and the four young people who will be interviewed during this ceremony. us pray. God our Father, St. John Paul II tells us to trust Christ, to listen attentively to his teachings, to fix our eyes on his face, to persevere in listening to his word, to allow him to focus our search and our aspirations and all our ideals and the desires of our heart. Help us, Father God, to do this so that all the actions and decisions of our lives are done with Jesus, who is our Saviour and friend forever and ever. Amen. And you may be seated. And we thank the Long Tower Folk Group from Derry for singing our anthem for St. John Paul II, Open the Doors to Christ. Bishop McKeown, Mel, our award recipients, ladies and gentlemen, this is the 16th ceremony, award ceremony for the Pope John Paul II award in this diocese. And at this ceremony, 328 people, young people from all over our diocese and beyond will receive their award. And you young people have come from 22 second level schools you represent 44 parishes in our diocese and 13 parishes from outside our diocese. And we'll also present three people with the Papal Cross Award, and all those students come from Skullwara and Bonkrana. The Pope John Paul II Award continues to be a major presence in the church in this diocese and throughout the country and in parts of England as well. Here in the diocese, more and more young people continue to enroll enroll in the award. More parishes are involving lay people to help the young people to do the award. And this has been our focus over the last number of years and will continue to be into the future to create parishes that support the award and make it easy for you to do it. And we need to help young people to engage more and more in parish life. And often, for various reasons, the parish involvement can be the most challenging part of the award and therefore needs the greatest support. 
parish structures need to be welcoming and enabling for you young people to be the positive reality that you are called to be in the church today. We're also very conscious that this, that this award ceremony takes place at a time when the world is still not at peace. Do we remember the people of Ukraine? Do we pray for peace with Russia? We're conscious of all the people, young and old, who have left Ukraine and who are living among us. We look forward to more and more of them doing the award. And so the Pope John Paul II Award continues to be the largest youth movement in the church in Ireland. In the last 16 years, about 46,000 young people have enrolled in the award. In our diocese, since the award began, 6,416 young people have received their award. So in a time where bad news is more often than not told, we hear the award continues to be good news in the church in Ireland and beyond. For the most part, it continues to be a quiet story that's not too loudly told. However, it does give powerful evidence that the church is neither dying nor dead. The church is alive and the church is young and the church is here. So I now invite Bishop McKeown, the patron of the award, to open this award ceremony. Thank you, Father Paul. I apologise to some of you when you were coming in for dragging you away from class. I appreciate you'd much prefer to be in school studying away hard for your A-levels or your leaving cert. So we really appreciate you dragging yourself away from all that hard work to come here. Some didn't seem terribly upset at not having to be in class this afternoon. So it's good to see so many of you here from North Donegal and South Derry and East Derry and South Tyrone and so on. So you're here from all arts and parts. Any of you, if you remember the Gospel at Mass yesterday, Jesus said to all his followers, you are salt to the earth. If salt loses its taste, it's absolutely no use for anything other than to be trodden underfoot. You are salt to the earth. You are light to the world, Jesus said. Me? Yes, you. You are light to the world. Put it on a lampstand in the middle of the room for everyone to see it. Let what you do, let your good works be seen. Give witness, give encouragement, give uh, example to your peers. It is, we're not stuck, we're not trapped. We can, we can form, we can mould, we can shape the world. And Jesus says, I want you to dream of a wonderful world that through grace and hope and love can be created. You young people, you are salt to the earth. You give it taste, you fire it up. You are light to the world. I hope we can celebrate that with other young people of high ideals, great energy and generous hearts this afternoon. Thank you for coming and thank you to all the organisers for assembling this afternoon for us. I hope it creates memories for you and not just an opportunity to collect a certificate. You are salt to the earth. You are light to the world. Never forget that. Thank you, Bishop McKeown. And before the, war, the awards are presented, it's very important to hear from those who have taken part in the award. And so I invite Lizzie to come forward, and you all know Lizzie, I'm sure, from inviting you to go online and do this and do that. And I, Lizzie's going to talk to Ailish McWilliams from St. Patrick's College in Mahara, Conrad Sheridan from the Sacred Heart College in Oma, Kate Doherty from Carndona Community School, and Ronan Hickey from St. Columns College in Derry. Just, they're going to speak about their experience of the award. So I'll hand it over to Lizzie. Before we start, I just want to say um, a massive congratulations to everyone, and I loved reading all your reflections. So all the things that you've done, we're now going to talk just about what Elish and Conrad have done as well, So, like so many of you. So Elish, do you want to tell us a bit about who you are, your parish, your school, and what you did for, say, your parish hours for the award? Um, I'm Elish, and I go to St Patrick's College, Mahara, and my parish is Granahan. Um, for my award, I undertook many different, varied, but all diff 
rewarding activities in my parish, school and community. The main ones for my parish included collecting for St Vincent de Paul at Mass. The money donated was used by food vouchers for those struggling with food poverty in our community. I also organised donated food and essential supplies for hampers which were dis distributed at Christmas to those in need in my parish. I also enjoyed cleaning the chapel. This was particularly important because of COVID. Extra care had to be taken to clean the chapel. There was a small group of us of different age groups who cleaned together and it was a great way to getting to know older members of our congregation. Other volunteering I undertook within my parish included reading at Mass, at choral services and at different services in our chapel, including devotions that took place during Lent. Thank you, Elise. You did a lot, didn't you? Very varied. That's fantastic. So, Conrad, you about to tell us about what your parish, where you're from, and if you want to maybe tell us, you did a parish program. You did UCAT. Do you want to just tell us how you enjoyed that, or what was kind of involved in that, Conrad? In that, we we mostly went and did. We had meetings on a Thursday evening, which we would attend for Thursday evening for, I'd say, six months, maybe. In this time, like this was, we went and had watched lectures on like the sort of theology of Christianity and things with some of the lessons being things like treating others as equal and with discipline and how God loves us. So Conrad, do you want to just tell us a bit, what did you do for your social hours? What kind of stuff did you do in your community? For my social hours, I went and did readings at Mass, things like letters to St. Paul and other, re other readings from the Old Testament. I also did, in, for my school, I did a buddying program where I would help the first years who were tr just coming in, settle in, know where things are, calm their anxieties and things like that. Fantastic, that sounds great. So Elise, you've signed up to do the Papal Cross Award. Do you want to tell us why you signed up for the Papal Cross and what would you maybe say to some of these people um, about maybe signing up or um, to, to the next generation of what they would sign up for the Papal Cross? Um, throughout my Gold Award, I enjoyed giving back to the community and the parish as they give so much to us. And once I finished my 20 hours for social and parish, I thought that maybe there was more to give back. And this is why I looked into the Papal Cross Award and I signed up to continue developing my faith and while also giving back to the community in parish. Well, thank you very much. So I'd ask you to give a round of applause to Conrad and Ailish. Thank you for joining us. And we're now going to invite Ronan and Kate to come forward and tell us about their experience. So you're very welcome. Ronan, do you want to tell us about how you found the award? What did, did you enjoy most about the award and whether that was in your parish? If you want to tell us what parish you were in and then tell us what you enjoyed most and what you would maybe say to everyone about how your experience was. Uh, my name is Ronan and I'm from uh, Banner Parish and I go to St. Columns in Derry. The most fulfilling part of the award was getting to coach the uh, underage teams at both my clubs that I play Gaelic football and hurling for. It was nice continuing that cycle. Um, I had quite a young coach uh, when I was under six, under eight, and I felt I wanted to give back to that. For my uh, parish hours, it was just fulfilling helping out every Sunday and for special events like the Blessing of the Graves. Great, Ronan, thank you. Kate, you did a lot of the online programme, so you're probably sick of seeing my face, but I want to actually ask you how you enjoyed the online programme or what kind of things did you take away from doing some of your awards online and then what did you do for your parish and your social? Um, the uh, online programme was something really different that I hadn't really experienced before, but going into it, going on every Monday night and just being able to go through the different tasks and learn things about the diocese, about the parishes and about my own faith. Um, it really helped me develop my faith and, and, and I really enjoyed my award because of it. 
And then for my social hours, I did a lot of volunteering. Um, I volunteered to teach English and music to our new Ukrainian communities. And I volunteered in our local gardens to organize events. That's fantastic. So did you do the volunteering when you were um, with the people from Ukraine? Was it like in a clubhouse or was it in, what kind of stuff did you do when you were doing that? Um, well, one of the local schools volunteered their school and we all gathered together and we really just talked to, instead of like sitting down and teaching people, we had conversations with them, we learned about each other and we really just got people involved in communities. Thank you. So Ronan, if you had to tell somebody maybe in year 12, year 13, about why they should do this award, what would you say to them? I would say that doing the award makes you a more rounded person. It obviously develops all of your uh, interpersonal skills like communication and it brings your generosity out. It's nice being around your community and giving back to uh, the community that you've been a part of since you were baptised. Yep, you used the great word there, community. So it's a parish community and in your general community and what you can give back. Thank you very much, Ronan. Kate, you've also signed up to do the Papal Cross Awards. What was your reasoning for signing up for the Papal Cross and what kind of things are you doing now for your Papal Cross Award? Um, uh, I saw the Papal Cross Award and I really enjoyed my Gold Award. I thought it really let me become part of my parish and gave me a voice in my parish. And so for the hours, the social hours, I'm continuing a lot of the stuff in the community. And then my parish hours, I'm continuing a lot of the stuff like reading at mass, giving out parish envelopes, parish leaflets and stuff like that. Fantastic. So thank you very much, Kate and Ronan. If you just want to make your way to the side, we'll give them all a round of applause. Thank you, Lizzie, Kate, Conrad, Ailish, and Ronan. And now we come to the main part of the ceremony, the presentation of the awards. And each recipient, uh, you will receive a certificate and a medal. And this today, the school will receive those certificates and medals for you. And so there will be 331 young people receiving the rewards from this ceremony. So I invite Mel to come forward and Bishop McKeown to come forward for the presentation of the certificate. And so we go to St. Columns High School in Draperstown first, and Jackie Conway will read the names. Connor Boyle, gold, ball on the screen. Stephen Bradley, gold, ball on the screen. Brona Doherty, gold, ball on the screen. Cora Donnelly, gold, ball on the screen. Leah Donnelly, gold, ball on the screen. Tony Louise, gold, ball on the screen. Kyla English, gold, ball on the screen. Alana Flanagan, gold, ball on the screen. Orla Henry, gold, ball on the screen. Connell Irwin, gold, er ball on the screen. Sinead Jeffrey, gold ball on the screen. Aoife Kelly, gold ball on the screen. Alan McGuigan, gold ball on the screen. Gavin McBride, gold ball on the screen. Mary Carmel, gold ball on the screen. Rachel McCullough, gold ball on the screen. Anna McDade, gold ball on the screen. James McDade, gold ball on the screen. Mary Jo McGuldowney, gold ball on the screen. Sinead McGuigan, gold ball on the screen. Connell McKenna, gold ball on the screen. Shay McNally, gold Mahara. Michael McWilliams, gold ball on the screen. Ryan Mitchell, gold Desert Martin. Donna Muncy, gold ball on the screen. Eileen O'Hagan, gold ball on the screen. Ryan O'Hagan, gold ball on the screen. Orla O'Kean, gold ball on the screen. Emma O'Lone, gold ball on the screen. And Connor O'Neill, gold ball on the screen.
And now we move to Thornhill College in Derry, and Emer Lynch will read the names. Um, Susan Anderson, St. Eugene's Cathedral, Silver Award. Caitlin Austin, Glenn Dermott, Gold Award. Cora Biggs, Banagher, Silver Award. Benita Bijou, Glenn Dermott, and Gold Award. Dara Blakery, Glenn Dermott, Gold Award. Katie Blaney, Three Patrons, Gold Award. Beth Bradley, Gold Award, Glenn Dermott. Katie Bryson, Gold Award, Vaughan Vale and Lower Cumber. Sinead Canavan, Three Patrons, Gold Award. Becky Canahan, Banagher, Gold Award. Nicole Cannon, Three Patrons, Gold Award. Abby Carlin, St. Eugene's Cathedral, Gold Award. Maya Clifford, Three Patrons, Silver Award. Hannah Conwell, Holy Family, Gold Award. Carrie Crossan, Claudie, Silver Award. Ella Steary, Cole Moore, Silver Award. Lauren Devaney, Straban, Gold Award. Leah Devine, Claudie, Gold Award. Cara Doherty, Fahim Vale and Lower Cumber, Gold Award. Emily Doherty, St. Eugene's Cathedral, Gold Award. Shannon Doherty, St. Eugene's Cathedral, Gold Award. Amy Donaghy, Craigan, Gold Award. Eva Donaghy, Claudie, Gold Award. Cara Donaghan, Three Patrons, Gold Award. Cameron Downey, St. Eugene's Cathedral, Gold Award. Dervla Durkin, St. Eugene's Cathedral, Gold Award. Ellie Jo Ferguson, Craigan, Gold Award. Grace Flynn, Vaughan and Lower Cumber, Gold Award. Sarah Fox, Cole Moore, Gold Award. Zara Glacken, Glenn Dermott, Silver. Mary Kate Graham, Limavati, Gold Award. Maria Hickey, St. Eugene's Cathedral, Gold Award. Remney Kerr, Glenn Dermott, Silver Award. Jessica Kelly, Banagher, Gold Award. Searsha Kelly, Glenn Dermott, Gold Award. Shania King, Vaughan Vale and Lower Cumber, Gold Award. Sarah Lamberton, St. Eugene's Cathedral, Gold Award. Sophie Little, Three Patrons, Gold Award. Kiara McEnany, Glenn Dermott, Gold Award. Kira McCarran Johnson, Glenn Dermott, Gold Award. Eva McCarry, Glenn Dermott, Gold Award. Dervla McCall, St. Eugene's Cathedral, Gold Award. Katie McCauley, Three Patrons, Gold Award. Kiva McCluskey, Claudie, Gold Award. Beth McConaughey, Three Patrons, Gold Award. Orla McCorriston, Craigan, Gold Award. Ella McRae, Cyan Mills, Bronze. Maya McRae, Cyan Mills, Gold. Charlotte McGonigal, Holy Family, Gold Award. Karen McLaughlin, Glenn Dermott, Silver. Catherine McLaughlin, Craigan, Gold Award. Anna Mae McGonagall, Three Patrons, Gold Award. Jessica McNamee, Glenn Dermott, Silver Award. Shona McNichol, Claudie, Gold Award. Neela McShane, Glenn Dermott, Silver Award. Anna McWilliams, Three Patrons, Gold Award. Emily Moran, Steelstown, Silver Award. Rebecca Morrison, Holy Family, Silver Award. Ava Morrow, Fahan, Veal and Lower Cumber, Gold Award. Kelly Love You, St. Eugene's Cathedral, Gold Award. Molly Nickel, Three Patrons, Gold Award. Erin O'Connor, Melmount, Gold Award. Emer O'Doherty, Three Patrons, Gold Award. Emma O'Hara, Fahan Veal and Lower Cumber, Gold Award. Mary Kate O'Hara, Ardmore, Silver. Neve O'Kane, Banagher, Gold Award. Rosha O'Mora, Gold, um, St. Eugene's. Emily O'Neill, Gold, St. Eugene's. Aoife Sargent, Cole Moore, Gold. Sadie Sturgeon, Claudie, Gold Award. And Cara Wilson Hegarty, Three Patrons, Gold Award.
We thank Thornhill College. And now we're going to move to Oma for Loretto College. And Maria McElroy will read out the names. Erin Bradley Gold Terman McGurk. Neve Bresnahan Silver Drumral. Erin Ketterson Gold Ahiarn. Aideen Corey Gold Kappa. Sarah Coyle Gold Bedoni Upper. Finola Daly Gold Trillick. Ellen Devine Gold Dunamana. Shinessa Devine Gold Kappa. Aideen Donnelly Gold Drumra. Claire Donnelly Gold Terman McGurk. Sarah Donnelly Silver Confago. Emily Duffy Gold Drumra. Avine Gallagher Gold Kappa. Emma Kate Gallagher Gold Kappa. Cleana Gill Gold Escra. Clara Gormley Gold Terman McGurk. Dervla Grimes Gold Erical Kieran. Aoife Hagen Gold Clogher. Jenna Harkin Gold Drumra. Rebecca Hurst Gold Newton Stewart. Jessna Joy Gold Drumra. Vanilla Kelly Gold Kappa Abram Keys Gold Terman McGurk Megan Maguire Gold Drumore Sarah Maguire Gold Drumra Ella Mannion Silver Dunnacavy Cora McCabe Gold Berra Ellen McCann Gold Berra Ashleen McCanny, Gold Drum Quinn. Catherine McGaughy, Silver Kilskerry. Ella McConnon, Silver Clogher. Leah McDermott, Gold Kappa. Molly McElroy, Gold Straban. Anna McAvoy, Gold Erical Kieran. Cloda McGarvey Gold Bedoni Upper Erin McGee Silver Kappa Molly Kate McGurr Silver Kappa Abby McIver Gold Newton Stewart Neve McMenamin Gold Fintana Louise McWilliams Gold Donnacavy Zara Megan Gold Escra Emer Myler Gold Kappa Kiva Miley Gold Drumra Holly Mills Gold Drumra Lauren Mills Gold Kappa Keely Mulcahy Silver Drumor Lasarina Nanil Gold Bedoni Lower Ellie Nugent, Gold Kappa. Marisa O'Shea Byrne, Gold Ahiarn. Rihanna Rice, Gold Drumra. Kerry Teg, Silver Drumore. Megan Trainer, Gold Ardstraw West and Castle Dirk. Ellie Ann Wilson, Gold Drum Quinn.
Thank you to Loretto College, and now we go to St. Patrick's College in Dungiven. And Leanne Scullion will read the names. Erin McLoon, Gold, Dungiven. Nairi O'Kane, Silver, Dungiven. Now we go to Anishowan, to Skullwara and Bonkrana, and Leone Doherty will read the names. And we thank the Anishowan people for coming because it's a bank holiday in the Republic of Ireland. Uh, Sarah Bradley, Gold, Bonkrana, Daniel Brennan, Gold, Iskahin and Upper Moville, Patrick Coleman, Gold, Bonkrana. Lauren Davis, Gold, Bert, Inch and Fawn. Leah Rose Davis, Gold, Bert, Inch and Fawn. Chloe Donaghy, Gold, Bunkrana. Erin Hegarty, Gold, Bunkrana. Kerry Lockery, Gold, Bunkrana. Anastasia Mallon, Gold, Bunkrana. Anya McCallion, Gold, Bunkrana. Niall McCaughan, Papal Cross, Iskaheen and Upper Mobile. Kira McGonagall, Papal Cross, Iskaheen and Upper Moville. Larkin McGonagall, Papal Cross, Iskaheen and Upper Moville. Aoife McLafferty, Gold, Bunkrana. Kira McLaughlin, Gold, Bert, Inch and Fawn. Owen Mulhern, Gold, Bunkrana. Connor O'Hagan, Gold, Iskaheen and Upper Moville. Colleen Porter, Gold, Bunkrana. Clara Sheridan, Bronze, Bunkrana. Shay Tedstone, Gold, Bunkrana. Now we go back to Oma to the Sacred Heart College and Anne Cullinan will read the names. Shauna Cassidy, Gold, Bodoni, Lower. Ella Connolly, Bronze, Drumra. Anya Donaghy, Bronze, Drumra. Leah Kelly, Gold, Kappa. Neve McGrade, Gold, Drumra. Kelsey McGuigan, Bronze, Ahi Arn. Grace McLaughlin, Gold, Ahi Arn. Kovla Sharkey, Bronze, Drumra. Conrad Sheridan, Silver, Kappa. Grace Skelton, Gold, Drumquen. Now we go back to an issue and again to Moville Community College and Tom McCabe will read the names. Caitlin Doherty, Gold from Ishkaheen and Upper Moville. Anna McLaughlin, Gold from Moville.
And now we go to Coleraine, to the Loretto College, and Julie Galbraith will read the names. Eva Keeley, Silver, Dungiven. Eva McBride, Gold, Corian. Connor McCluskey, Gold, Dungiven. Peter McCool, Gold, Limavari. Neve McGarry, Gold, Corian. Sean McKelvey, Gold, Dungiven. Clodagh Moore, Gold, Garva. Cara Mullen, Silver, Garva. Eilish Mullen, Gold, Dungiven, and Oren Tosh, Gold, Limavari. The tour continues. We go from Coleraine to Mahara to St. Patrick's College, and Claire Kelly will read the names. Anna Diamond, Gold, Balahi. Michaela Doherty, Gold, Coleraine. Olivia Higgins, Gold, Dunneen. Abby Holloway, Gold, Mahara. Lucy Kelly, Silver, Mahara. Sierra McAlinden, Gold, Balness Green. Katrina McAtamney, Gold, Swatra. Amy McCartney, Gold, Mahara. Kiva McCluskey, Gold, Dungiven. Amy McFall, Gold, Dungiven. Claire McMullen, Gold, Lavi. Oshin McNichol, Bronze, Dungiven. Turna McPeak, Gold, Balahi. Eilish McWilliams, Gold, Swatra. Cleana McWilliams, Bronze, Mahara. Annie Mullen, Gold, Garva. Cara Mullen, Gold, Dungiven, Mary Murray, Gold, Dunneen, Sorsha Neeson, Gold, Blahi, Tara O'Kane, Bronze, Garva, Eva O'Donnell, Gold, Dunneen, Eva O'Donnell, Bronze, Lavi, Hannah O'Donnell, Gold, Dunneen, Eva O'Neill, Gold, Kilray and Desert Tohill, Emily Talbot, Bronze, Mahara, Seanine Tohill, Gold, Kilray and Desert Tohill, Emer Turner, Gold Swatra, and Kira Winton, Gold Mahara. And we move back now to Derry City and to St. Columns College, and Paul McGarry will read the names. Owen Ballard, Bronze, Glen Dermot. Owen Carlin, Silver, Three Patrons. Jude Collins, Gold, Fahan Vale and Lower Cumber. Oren Coyle, Gold, Steelstown. Lee Duddy, Silver, Steelstown. Oren Dernan, Silver, Steelstown. Ronan Hickey, Gold, Banagher. Jeff John, Gold, Glendermott. Nixon V. Joy, Gold, Glendermott. Mark Kyo, Gold, Holy Family. Miles Kyo, Gold, St. Eugene's. Cormac Kelly, Silver, Glendermott. Tiernan McKeever, Gold, St. Eugene's. Owen Neelis, Gold, Steelstown. Podrick O'Neill, Gold, 
Fahon Vale and Lower Cumber, Adam Tiernan Silver, St Eugene's, and Peter Tracy Silver, Holy Family. And we return now to Bank Holiday Land to Anishon to Crana College and Rosalind O'Donnell will read the names. Ewan O'Brien, Gold, Bon Crana. Turn to Derry City now and St Joseph's Boys School and Catherine Lagan will read the names. Orne Harkin, Gold, St Eugene's. Arne McCafferty, Bronze, St Mary's Craigan. Conley McLaughlin, Bronze, St Mary's Craigan. Stay in Derry City and go to Lumen Christie College and Stephen Doherty will read the names. Cleona Bonner, Gold, Fahan Vale and Lower Comber. Sally Comey, Gold, St Eugene's Cathedral. Michael Curran, Gold, Banagher. Owen Doherty, Gold, Colmore. Lucy Doherty, Gold, Steelstown. Ronan Donnelly, Gold, Glendermott. Aaron Harkin, Gold, Fahan Vale and Lower Comber. Kate Harkin, Gold, Steelstown. Ellie Harrison, Gold, Steelstown. Caitlin Lynch, Gold, Fahan Vale and Lower Cumber. Aidan McAteer, Gold, Glendermott. Connor McCann, Bronze, Colmore. Jack McGowan, Gold, Limavati. Kieran McGrellis, Gold, Holy Family. Oliver McKibben, Gold, Steelstown. Connor McTaggart, Gold, Banagher. Ellie O'Connor, Gold, Fahan Vale. Ellen O'Connor, Gold, Claudie. Katie O'Doherty Gold, Three Patrons, Emma Redmond Gold, Banagher, Rilea Ridgew Gold, Glendermott, and Esther Thomas Gold, River City Church. And now we go to Limavady to St Mary's College and Mary Lennon will read the names. Emer Curley, Gold, Limavady. Holly Gillen, Bronze, Limavady. Ethan Harn, Gold, Limavady. Mairead McDermott, Gold, Limavady. Emer McGonagall, Bronze, Limavady. Alexa McIver, Gold, Limavady. Amy Nickel, Silver, Fahan Vale and Lower Cumber, and Tom Patterson, Gold, Limavati.
That's Mary Lennon's last award ceremony. And she was at the first. And so now we go back to Derry to St. Mary's College and Lynn Kelly will read the names. Ellie Lang, Gold, Steelstown. Shannon Peake, Gold, St. Eugene's. Bea Ward, Gold, Steelstown. Katie Lee Robinson, Gold, St. Eugene's. Caitlin Harkin, Bronze, Holy Family. Katie Crossan, Gold, Craigan. Neve Lamerton, Bronze, Craigan. And now we go back to Oma, to the Christian Brothers Grammar School, and Cathy Teague will read the names. Dara Barrett, Gold, Dumra. Jack Baxter, Gold, Dunquin. Nia Boyle, Gold, Kappa. Finn Corey, Gold, Dumra. Connor Darcy, Gold, Dumra. Cormac Dolan, Gold, Dumra. Manus Doyle, Gold, Kappa. Killian Gartland, Gold, Jamore. Manuel Gabadibo, Gold Kappa. Connor Hackett, Gold Eskra. Sean Kerr, Gold Kappa. Aidan Kerrigan, Gold Newton Stewart. Nathan Maguire, Silver Jamor. Freddie McNaspe, Gold Kilskiri. Vinnie McCarney, Gold Donakeve. Omagahi, Gold Kilskiri. Kier McCullough, Gold Bodoni. John McGlinchey, Gold Ahyarn. Kay McGuigan, Gold Drumore. Sean McSorley, Gold Drumra. Miho Maloney, Gold Drumra. Paul Murphy, Gold Drumra. Luke Murray, Gold Drumra. Ethan O'Brien, Gold Clutter. Keelan O'Hagan, Gold Kappa. And Callan Walsh, Gold Kappa. Now we go to St. Cecilia's College in Derry, and Martina Davidson will announce the names. Emma Collins, Gold, St. Eugene's Cathedral. Amy Green, Silver, Cragen. Cora Jordan, Gold, St. Eugene's Cathedral. Jody Kennedy, Gold, Long Tower. Eve Loke, Gold, Three Patrons. Tegan McConaughey, Gold, Cragen. Sarah McGarrigal, Silver, Craigan, Russia McCleary, Gold, Three Patrons, Sarah Malloy, Gold, Craigan, Sarah Spencer, Silver, St. Eugene's Cathedral. Back to Anishon to Carindona Community School and Serena Doherty will read the names. Roshin Carroll, Gold, Kildaff, Kate Doherty, Gold, Carindona, Danny McGonagall, Silver, Malin and Manus Doherty, 
Kuldav. And now we move to St. Connors College and Kilray and Port Glenone and Grainne McCallion will read the names. Eamon Mayberry, Gold, Kilray and Desert Toho. Cara McAleese, Bronze, Dunloy and Clock Mills. Rona McIldowney, Gold, Swatra. Katie Mackay, Silver, Risharkin. Megan McMullen, Bronze, Dunloy and Clock Mills. Now we go to Straban to Holy Cross College and Patricia Devine will read the names. Neve Coyle, Gold, Melmount. Roseanne Devine, Gold, Dunamana. Rebecca Fristel, Gold, Melmount. Elizabeth Gibson, Gold, Clonley. Chloe McConnell, Gold, Melmount. John Joe McCrossan, Gold, Melmount. Molly McDaid, Gold Melmount, Rachel McKenna, Gold Melmount, Lucy Moore, Gold Melmount, Abigail Robinson, Gold Cyan Mills, and Emma Wilson, Gold Straban. And finally, we return to Derry to St. Bridget's College, and Shauna Sharkey will read the names. Jessica Cairns, Gold, Three Patrons. Michal Doherty, Bronze, Three Patrons. Miles Meenan, Bronze, Three Patrons. And so we congratulate all of you again, so I think we could give you all a big round of applause. <laughs> now it gives me great pleasure to introduce our guest speaker for today, Mel Francisco Lawless. And Mel is a native of the Philippines, and she lives and works in the diocese of Hexham and Newcastle in England, where she leads many, many people, young people, in faith. And Mel's own faith story is a very powerful story. So we're blessed to have her, and I would ask you to give her a very warm welcome as she addresses us this afternoon. Good afternoon, everyone. It's really nice to be here with you, and it's been an honor and a blessing to be 
speaking with you today. I was actually amazed um, that Father Paul asked me to speak to you today, but I trust his wisdom, and if you get bored in the next 10 or 12 minutes, blame him, not me. Um, no, I'm only joking. I will, uh, I will go to confession later. But um, I couldn't say no to Father Paul. Uh, Father Paul in the diocese, this diocese has been very significant in my own ministry and faith journey. It's just a privilege to give the awards to you because I do recognize some of the schools that we work with over the past. He has mentioned that I've worked, I, I am working now in Newcastle with the Youth Ministry uh, Trust and I've been working in youth ministry now for 23 years. Um, and YMT really gathers young adults and we live and work as a community and we go to different schools and parishes making faith relevant to the lives of young people. So I am very privileged. As I said, uh, I've worked with some of the schools um, which is really familiar to me when I was handling the awards. Back in 2003, YMT did a mission at a parish in St. Mary's in Cregan where I met Father Paul for the first time. The parish at that time and Father Paul helped me to continue my work in Newcastle uh, by getting the parishioners to sign a petition because my visa application was denied to come back to Newcastle and continue with my work with YMT. But they signed petition letters and maybe the immigration officer didn't know what to do with my application when I turned up to the embassy with a stack of petition letters from the parishioners of Derry. And maybe he thought, okay, that's a big yes for me. You can come back. Um, and after that, 23 years on, I'm still here doing the ministry that I love. Uh, as I said, I live in Newcastle, so I hopefully I've, I have inherited some of the accent. So how way the lads and lasses and all that jazz that I read. Um, but Jordi is not my first language. I do speak English, a little bit of Spanish, and also uh, Tagalog, which is my native language. The Diocese of Derry introduced the John Paul II Award, and I know how special today is for you. You are being recognized with the hard work that you've done. And completing the award is an outstanding achievement. Uh, and today you get to celebrate that. But for me, the most important part is for us testifying to the power of encounter. Uh, I remember I met a young person doing a work in Newcastle. And I was in a care home and she was volunteering there. And uh, I was speaking for, I, I was speaking to the, to the care home with the elderly in there sharing the work of YMT and she, she just happened to be there and she just smiles all the time and there was a joyful interaction between her and the resident while we were having lunch break. Um, so I asked her, I said, why are you so joyful? And she said, well, not only I can add that to my work hours, but also I gain grandparents every Monday because she comes there every Monday. And um, after she left, I asked one of the ladies on the table, what, what, what do you think of her? And one of the ladies says, well, she smiles a lot, so I'm forced to smile back. And she said, but really, she gives me a reason to come down for lunch instead of having it in my own room. They both have purpose to interact with each other. So I can only imagine your 320 and so awardees, the different interaction that you've had with each other, with the parishioners, and I hope that the diocese continue. Uh, even great more opportunities to encounter, for, for this type of encounter to happen, because this is really important. Nothing beats the, the power of encounter that happens when the wisdom of the old meets the energy of the youth. St. John Paul II was very passionate in letting the young people know about the, the life of the church and the experience of the church. So he, I don't know if you've heard about the World Youth Day. World Youth Day is one of his legacies. And it started in 1985. World Youth Day is a gathering of youth and young adults where we pray, we worship, and we do uh, celebrate our Catholic faith through the Eucharistic celebration. And it, it is well attended. I think 
Philippines still holds the largest attendees, which is uh, 5 million, so way up the Filipinos. Um, but I attended the World Youth Day in year 2000, and there was 2 million, and I was one of them. We were in Rome, and I was part of the sea of young people, young adults, um, listening to His Holiness Pope John Paul II then. And I remember in the midst of that two million people, I was there and I felt that he spoke to me. I felt directly that one of his message was to me. And I remember vividly he said, young people of every continent, do not be afraid to be the saints of the new millennium. That year 2000, for some people, you probably weren't born then yet, but they believed that the year 2000 was the end of the world. Obviously it didn't, but for me it was the beginning because at the midst of the sea of young people, I heard a personal call. I heard that I was being called to be the saint of the new millennium. A year after that, I left a marketing research job in a big pharmaceutical company to volunteer full-time for youth ministry. I left everything. I packed my bags and went to uh, Blythe, which is north of um, Northumberland. I wanted to see where this call would take me, this call to serve would take me. And perhaps 23 years later, I'm here back again in Derry speaking with you guys. You see, my testimony is this. When I was 18, my father was murdered while he was trying to save another man's life. A man was shot after his, his van was gone down by robbers. And he ended up crawling, this man ended up crawling on the side of the road where my father happened to pass by. I was only 18 then. He tried to pick him up and take the injured man back to his car. However, he didn't realize that the robbers were there was still there and they turned to him, they shot him and he was declared dead at that time. He managed to save this man's life but I lost my father. My mother lost a husband. There was five of us in the family and the youngest was two years old. You can imagine how hard it was for us to continue with life after a tragic event but life continued. We have to move into places where it's painful, hurtful and traumatic, but we have to continue living one day at a time, hour by the hour. As if all my life before that, my prayers, Sundays, masses were preparing me for what life has to throw um, to me. You see, losing someone in your life creates a hole that cannot be filled. We just learn how to live with it. However, grief can be a grace that recreates life. It could be an avenue where we can also create life. In my grief, my faith and life with the church strengthened me. I can say now, looking back, that the church has healed my past. It comforts my present and it holds my future. I felt at that time that God was like a loving parent holding me in that, um, in that grief. When Father Paul rang me to come and speak today, I was waiting for a train from Paris to London. After I put the phone down, I felt nervous because what am I going to say to the young people of Derry uh, or of all the part of the diocese? But I thought I was waiting there and I, all I could hear is this repeated announcement in London station saying, see it, say it, sort it. And I thought to myself, what if God has actually been announcing that all throughout our lives in this journey of life? That regularly he says to us, see it, say it, sort it. That he says, see the grace of God working in your lives. Say the good news, proclaim the good news, and do good so everyone can have a little heaven down here. See it, say it, sort it. Today will only happen if you have seen the works of the Lord in your life, so you've chosen it. 
It wouldn't happen if you've shared the good news and all I could hear from the interview is I want to give back because you've experienced something and you want to give back. You acted on it. So you see it, you say it, and you sort it out. I have worked with many young people and adults in my life and in my experience. I worked alongside them, taking them to mission work, to poor, uh, poor communities in the Philippines, as well as um, the UK in prison ministry. I've worked alongside them and I know that they are fearless. This generation is a fearless generation. You are not afraid to be seen. You are not afraid to be heard. You are not afraid to be the saint of this millennium. And finally, my prayer is this for you guys, is that you stay courageous, seeking first the kingdom of God in your own lives. I pray that you have eyes that see God sometimes in what appears to be a godless world. To speak the truth with courage, even though your voice is shaking. And finally, act like Christ, walking in this world, holding the truth in your heart that you are loved. That you are loved. And that is the good news. It's a non-negotiable truth of the, of, of the gospel of Christ. You are loved. You see it. You say it. And you acknowledge the love of God in your life. My favorite um, author and freedom fighter, Maya Angelou, um, she's very inspirational to me. And she said, do the best you can until you know better. Then when you know better, do better. You know better. That's why you're here receiving your award. So do better. So John Paul II and awardees of this year, stay awake, use your voice, spread the good news as Christ showed us with the guidance of the Holy Spirit. Live your life, not just of success, but aim to have a life of significance. Congratulations once again, and thank you, Bishop Donald, for having me here, and thank you, everyone, for what you've done to the church. You are our hope and our future. Thank you. Thank you, Mel. I was right to invite her, wasn't I? And so I now invite Maria Hickey to present Mel with a picture of Pope John Paul II and Emily McCormick, a former award recipient, as the artist for this picture. And so we're coming to the end of our ceremony. And before we come to the end, there's a couple of things I need to say and do. One is to encourage you to enrol in the Papal Cross Award. We had a number from Skullwara and Bonkrana today who received the Papal Cross. Any of you can do the Papal Cross now that you have completed your award. If you want to continue doing the work you're doing and do a bit more, uh, we would be delighted to get your application and to help you along with that. Again, before we finish up, there are people to be thanked. The first person I want to thank is Mel for coming here today and for sharing her faith and for inspiring us to live our faith. She was a great gift for the Diocese of Hexham and Newcastle, and I always hope that the next place she'll be a great gift will be in Derry, because if you were to live in England or here, where would you choose? So I would choose here. And we also welcome her husband, Tony, who's with her today. They fell in love in Derry. And more especially, no harm to Tony, but Mel's mother is here as well. So we welcome her too. We thank Bishop McKeown as patron of the Pope John Paul II Award for his support and leadership in the award. I want to thank the award committee. I want to thank Lizzie and Neve and Anne-Marie and Therese and Mary and everybody in the Catechetical Centre who have worked so hard all through the year for the award and particularly for this ceremony today. I thank those who were interviewed today. I thank the Long Tower Folk Group that we'll hear more from before we're finished. I thank all those who in the office who read your presentations and who made comment on them and sent the letter to you. 
I thank the schools and the award leaders in the schools. If it wasn't for you, we couldn't continue this award. You help it to happen, you facilitate it, and it does bear fruit way beyond what we can see. We thank the priests and people of the parishes who facilitate the award as well and who allow you to take your rightful place in your parish, which is a place of leadership and a place of work. We thank all parents for supporting you as well and enabling you to do the award and grandparents too. Thank everybody here at the cathedral for the work that they did in preparing for today. But most of all, we thank you young people for enrolling in the award and for doing the award and May God bless you in your future. And so I now invite Bishop McKeown to give us a blessing and then the Long Tower Folk Group will sing again for us. It's the beginning of spring and we trust that the sun will bring the flowers out, bring the birds out, bring new life to our sleeping land. Can we ask the blessing of God on all of us that he might bring the seeds that have been sown in our hearts to flourish and blossom and be a blessing on the world. May Almighty God bless you, make his face to shine upon you, be with you today and all the days of your lives. Nana Manahar, August and Vic, August and Spirit Dave. Amen. God bless you.
Thank you and a safe journey home.